Hi Scorpios, good morning. Uh, I'm getting set up. As I was getting uh, ready to get everything out onto the table here, I, here, I'll look over here. I kept going back to where I keep all my decks and I'm like, no, I need another one. No, I need another one. No, and then I need this one. And no, I won't be ready unless I have that one. So, um, you might be overthinking things. You might be, um, um, just straight up overthinking, obsessed in your head, wanting to get everything totally right. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on with these oracles? Let's grab an oracle and see what we have. All right, yeah. All right, here it is. Coexist and pristine. So yeah, you, there's something you're thinking about that you need to get absolutely right. And it might be, uh, Scorpio, it might be a get about uh, coexisting with someone. I see this, this is for sure a, a message for you. I see this. Right here is an S for Scorpio, the tail of the scorpion. Um, so yeah, Scorpio, you might be thinking about how to coexist with someone, maybe how to be in a relationship with somebody, maybe how to live with someone. Um, you want it to go well. Uh, you might be up in your head right now about how to approach this topic. All right, Scorpio, it'll be okay. <laughs> Let's take another oracle from the Grace cards. Let's see what the Grace cards have to tell you. All right, if this uh, message isn't for you, Scorpio, today's just not your day with me. Um, there's lots of other stories out on YouTube, Scorpio, please. And, uh, whoa, feel free to check out the other readers. Look at that, Scorpio. Believe. Believe in yourself. You can do this. You can make this happen. This um, coexisting, this coming together, this uh, needing to do it in a pristine and perfect way. You don't need to do it in a pristine and perfect way. You just need to believe in yourself. You are perfect enough as it is. Don't put that stress on you. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. So what this card is telling you is just straight up believe you can do it. I'm telling you, you can do this. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it in you, Scorpio. You can do this. And you know what? I think you are believing in yourself. I think you're ready for this. All right, Scorpio. I'm just going to put... These oracles are just up a little bit higher here. All right. So, Scorpio, I'm going to pull three cards on the top for one person. Um, it'll be head, heart, outcome, and action. Three cards for the other person. Head, heart, outcome, and action. Two cards for the mutual energy. And then, uh, you know, we'll clarify. I have some fun other decks that we can use to clarify um, you know, I'm just going to say person A and person B this time. Um, uh, so we'll go with that. I, uh, I got drawn to the Vivid Journey Tarot, um, really beautiful colors. So uh, let's do that. It's kind of fun to look over and see all these decks just right here. Usually I keep them in my studio and just take a couple out for a read. Right now I have one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight decks. Nine decks I'm pulling from. Nine. Nine might mean something to you. All right. What's going on with Scorpio's person? Um, oh, you know what? I was going to stop doing that because I can't get the energy flipped. So we'll say what's going on with person A in this situation. What's going on with person A for Scorpio? What's going on with person A? Can I get three for Scorpio, please? One more, one more, one more, one more. Scorpio? One more, hello deck. Uh, this is only the um, second day I've used this deck, so I'm just getting to know this deck, and this deck is just getting to know me. All right, Scorpio. We have the Ten of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. 
bottom of the deck, nine of wands. So we have ten of wands and nine of wands, both showing up for person A. All right, what's going on for person B? Can you tell me what's going on for person B for Scorpio in this relationship? What's happening with person B? Scorpio, three on the other person, please. Three on the other person. Uh, Scorpio, I try to shuffle on camera. It is kind of fun to see the jumpers. I only take jumpers on flips, so it might take a while. We got two out. One more. One more. There it is. All right. The other person. All right. Bottom of the deck is a star. Okay, so um, uh, I only do uprights today. Those are my intentions. All right. Okay, Scorpio, here we go. In person A's head is the Ten of Wands. And well, remember at the bottom of the deck with person A, they also had the Nine of Wands. So this person is carrying a really heavy burden. They have been carrying it for a long time. Uh, they, it went from nine of wands up to ten of wands. Nine of wands is the battle-worn warrior. It's the, uh, you know, the person who's been through everything. They're all fucked up. They got a bandage on their head. They're down, but they're not out because they got one more left in them. And you know what the one more left in them is? The ten of wands. Here comes the ten of wands. So this person in their head is like struggling. <laughs> They're carrying a lot. And, but the thing with the Ten of Wands is um, the Ten of Wands kind of tends to go go on for a while. It's a struggle you kind of are willing to do for a while over and over and over. You'd like to put it down, but you're willing to carry it if you need to. Okay, but I see this Ten of Wands in the head and the King of Swords in the heart. So in the heart is the King of Swords. The King of Swords is um, straight up, pure honesty, doing the things the right way. Um, this card stands for police officers, judges, um, um, authority. Um, we're telling the truth. We're doing the right thing. I will finally do the right thing. So... In, we, in the heart, for person A, I have to do the right thing. I am, I am prepared to do the right thing. And look at this Ten of Wands. She's like, dude, do the right thing. I can't carry this anymore in the head. All right. So, in this do the right thing is a sword. So, you may have, you know, really been obsessively thinking about this right thing. All right. So, in the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles is the wife of the deck. She is also the boss. She's the boss lady. She's literally a boss of a company. This is somebody who may own their own business. This is somebody who is um, financially secure settled, um, responsible, and she is also looking at this King of Swords, and look at the difference. These are the same women to me. They have the same hair. In the head, she's all, whoa, this is, this is heavy, dude. This is some heavy shit. In the heart, here comes the King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Um, this is uh, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius energy, also Gemini, Libra. And then over here we have Earth energy, uh, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Um, let's see what else I get off of this. So, yeah. Uh, both, okay, so this aspect of this person and this aspect of this person are like, help me, 
Help me, heart. It's time to boss up. All right. Now the other person, Scorpio, is the Fool. The Fool is Aries and Aquarius energy. Um, this is somebody who, in the head, is thinking about taking the leap. They're thinking about starting a journey, starting something new. They don't really know where this journey may lead them, but they are willing to just go for it. They're th really thinking about going for it. In their heart, they may have been holding back in the past. In the heart, we now have, here is the Hermit. And uh, this is Virgo energy. And, you know, in your heart, you may be really looking at this need to go for it. And Scorpio, the outcome is the Nine of Cups. This is the outcome of wish fulfillment. Look at that person. <laughs> yep. This person is smug as shit. They're proud of themselves for finally fucking stepping up and doing it. Look at them. They're like, I did it. I freaking did it. Look at all these nine cups that I earned. You earned them, Scorpio. You took the time to really think about it. And you've decided to take the leap. All right, so the mutual energy between you both is the star Aquarius energy again. Uh, oh, I don't know if I can have <laughs> the star like that on the video. Okay, so look at this beautiful star. Um, this star in this deck has the hair of the Empress. So this is the Empress. This may be um, somebody that... You want, uh, you see as a mother of your child, you may want to have a child with. This is somebody who is your beacon in the night. This is somebody who inspires you. This is somebody who um, you truly see as a star. This person may even be a little famous. Um, they may be somebody um, people look up to. They may have a very... Uh, magical, mystical quality to them. I see her feet look like a mermaid to her, to me. Um, the Empress is Taurus or Libra energy. Um, they may like to run around butt naked. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So before we get some mutual energies, let's clarify some. Feeling like using the Star MS messages from the 1980s. So let's clarify some of these cards with uh, the messages from the 1980s. Let's hear about this burden. What is this Ten of Wands about? Whoa. That's a bitchin' boombox. I like the music you make. Okay, so somebody has a straight-up crush on somebody. They may be into the same kind of music they like. They may be, uh, the person may be a musician or knowledgeable about music. Um, they may be the kind of person who shares their music with others. And um, that might be inspiring. Okay, what about, what is this hermit thinking about? What's this hermit thinking about? What's going, whoa, did you see that one, guys? Don't have a cow, dude. You will do just fine. Okay, so this hermit is, you know, stressed out. This person is a little stressed out in their heart. They're a little bit nervous to take, to take that leap. Uh, I think it's to take the leap with this person, but, you know, the message, excuse me. I don't have a cough, and these coughs have come on out of nowhere, so somebody may have a cough here. So the message for the hermit is, don't have a cow do, you will do just fine. And that's maybe what the hermit has the conclusion they have come up with. Okay. So this King of Swords, what is this all about? What does this, what is this seriousness in the heart that this King of Swords is like... You know, he's got his sword up. So what is this all about? Can you give me one on the King of Swords, please? One on the King of Swords. 
Wanna get Scorpio? Wanna get King of Sc Swords for Scorpio? I'm really having a hard time saying King of Swords for some reason. Wanna get King of Swords for Scorpio? Can I get one on the King of Swords for Scorpio? For Scorpio's person? No shit, Sherlock. One more. One more in the King of Swords. Okay, you might be making a decision that you're like, what the fuck, I have to do this. One more. Okay, this, I feel like this deck is talking bad. All right, let's do this one. Can I get one on this King of Swords for Scorpio? Give me one on this King of Swords. Solitude, really taking time to think about something. Um, really um, having to maybe like, one more. Let's see. I do have birds. There's some weird energy happening right now. Okay, here's that musician card again. Musician. Okay, so, you know. There's a bitch in boombox. I like the music you make. And musician. Okay, my musician card. Okay, so the musician card isn't only about musician. This is about somebody that is um, an artist, a poet, uh, somebody in the arts, uh, a musician, a performer, a virtuoso, um, something like that. So this person is... That is really coming into play right now. Can I get one more on this King of Swords? Okay, um, with the star. Okay, so this might be a famous um, person, a famous, mus like, like a musician that people have heard of. This might be... Um, you might be like... Person might not think that this person likes what they do if they're a musician or an artist or something. They're curious about how what this person. Yeah, they think this person doesn't give a shit about like about what they do, and they're curious about it. I I wonder if this person hasn't really said uh, I like what you do or uh, something like that. Okay, so here's the Queen of Pentacles looking on to whatever this is. You should know. If this is your story, you should know what that is. Let's see what the Queen of Pentacles has to say about that. I'm using the Star MS Gallery Mini Deck right now. The White Wolf. Okay, so the White Wolf has shown up with the Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles is the wife of the deck in the outcome here. And she, the White Wolf, <laughs> the birds are very excited. These are just two parakeets, guys. They get in the flow. The White Wolf has shown up with the Queen of Pentacles. The White Wolf's message is here to say, trust Trust, trust. The White Wolf is a very, very safe card. This is a spiritual card. This is a serious card. The wife, White Wolf um, protects. Look at it. It's right, right by this baby, and this baby is super safe. The White Wolf is, um, you know, looking, looking you right in the eye, and it's saying, now is your chance. So there's something going on here. Very special. This person, uh, this person might think this person is very special. And with the white wolf here, this person may be very spiritual. They may have, um, they might not be like a normal person, <laughs> you know, yeah, in a great way. In a, you know, they may be real, 
um, just mysterious, but not in a scary way. All right, so um, let's find out, guys. Let's find out about this wish fulfillment, this Nine of Cups. Let's find out. Uh, I got called back to the 80s deck, so let's go. Let's see if it's talking back. Can you tell me about this Nine of Cups? For Scorpio, nine of cups for Scorpio. What is this wish fulfillment all about? That's one fly ass jacket. I love your style. Okay, so this is somebody that you're super into. Um, you know, you might um you might hang out with them and you might like wear your good jacket <laughs> or something like that. Yeah. I think you're a total fox on the bottom. <coughs> so I think what's happening is this person down here might see this person up here soon. And they're thinking about it. This person is, um, ha the Herman has been thinking about, this person has been thinking about starting a new beginning. The heart and the Hermit wants to start this new beginning. It's shining the light on it. Uh, the message for the hermit in the heart is, don't have a cow, dude. You'll do just fine. And then the outcome is the nine of cups. Maybe, um, you know, whatever, whatever you, you want with this person is your wish fulfillment. Um, and I think, like, you might, you might see them and get, like, dressed up or something like that. All right. Can you tell me? Gonna do a quick shuffle here. Birdies, birdies. That's the bluebird. That's my bluebird. Uh, her name is Cerulean. Oh my goodness, we had an explosion, you guys. Okay, so um, I am not gonna take any of these because um, they're just kind of like. All on there, the ones I can see on the explosion at the top, I'll show you them, that are touching the Believe card. Yes, the Eight of Pentacles, somebody is working really hard, has been working really hard on an idea, on believing, they really want to believe. Um, they've been fighting off uh, the non-believers, and uh, maybe the non-believers are even inside of them. And they really know that they have to believe. And they what they have to believe in, you guys, is really taking a look at the idea of this soulmate connection. This is the Two of Cups. These are the soulmates. And uh, you might have um, some children involved that that are coming into play on this. And, um, you know, that child looks pretty, you know, pretty happy, pretty psyched. So, you know, uh, I think that's part of a message. Um, and then last, I'm going to stop with these. Oh, right at the bottom, guys, look at the Ace of Cups. This is it. This is the one cup that's needed to go from a Nine of Cups to loving yourself, to the Ten of Cups, to uh, the family, the kids, the wife, the job, the everything. Um, so yeah, there's definitely an Ace of Cups, um, maybe on the line here would be a good way to put it. And then one more cut card for this final message that I'd like you to see. When I, we did have the explosion, the Four of Swords landed on top of the Fool here. So the Fool... May have been going through, you know, and the fool is just, you know, it's not like a foolish person. The fool is just, um, you know, um, you know, just starting off. 
So this person um, may have been in a bit of a depression, may have been in a bit of a, um, maybe a dark night of the soul might be happening. Uh, we might be having the beginning of awakening for this person or really just starting to heal. This came out sideways on there, so I don't think the healing is completely done. But um, this person is, in, you know, getting in a good place for sure inside. All right. And I do think the message, too, that this hermit and the don't have a cow are saying to this to this really nervous um, fool energy is, um, you know, this is um, just relax, you know, just heal. I'm here to help you heal. And that's what this person is saying. I'm here to help you heal. It's okay. All right, guys, so here's what we have going on. And then when I flip, look at, I put that whole pile back together, turned it around, and there's the star again. All right, that explosion. Might be your shooting star, Scorpio, this person. A shooting star has come into your life. So, what the energy is telling you, the oracles are telling you, believe. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. So, this is telling you, believe and take action. You can coexist, Scorpio. And it will be pristine. It'll be just fine. And, you know, it doesn't have to be pristine. And, you know, it's, you're going to do just fine. I don't think this is like having the situation has to be pristine. I think this is, you are nervous about approaching this and, and it's going to be fine. It's going to be great. It's going to be pristine. You're shooting star. Okay. So, um, I do believe, you know, he, you, both of you could see each other as each other's shooting star. Um, this person up here in their head, they, um, really admire whatever this person does for, um, for their work or, um, this person can be also admiring what this person does for the work. It, you know, they both could be very talented, uh, creative people, and that's why they both see each other as each other's star. They're very, um, uh, interested and inspired by each other. Um, in the heart of this person is the king of swords. They might not be knowing what's going on. They might not be knowing if this other person is single uh, they are curious, um, they do, here it is again, they do like what they do, they do, um, they do really, I just really get, you know, um, like admiration, curiosity, really likes to watch them do what they do. And in the action and the outcome is the Queen of Pentacles, the wife of the deck, showing up with the white wolf, with the baby, saying, hey, it's all good. Everything is good. Boss up. This is the boss lady. Um, so this is like a really positive outcome. This person uh, is presenting as a really kind of positive person. They are willing to carry a burden. Um, they're willing to, you know, work together as a team. Um... And they're, like, super trustworthy. And on top of it, they're, like, magical as fuck. I mean, how could you go wrong? <laughs> lucky, lucky Scorpio. All right. Or Scorpio's person. Down at the bottom, we have a person who is in the process of healing. I'm not sure if it's an awakening. Let's take one more just to see. Can I get one more on this fool with the four swords? Okay. That just shot and flew way over here. Okay, so they may be healing from some father issues, and then at the bottom of the deck is birdcage. So um, this person may be healing, um, 
healing from some father issues, but they're finally releasing them. They're finally um, setting them free. So they may be, um, and you know, father issues are hard. Everybody loves their father, and well, not, you know, most people love their father, but there are also issues that you know make it hard. And so uh, I do feel like they're, they have released those issues. There is nothing in the cage anymore, or they're just finishing up that process. Um, they are looking at taking the leap with this person, and in their heart, they're like, I got this, you know, don't have a cow, I'm going to do just fine. And in the outcome, they are, you know, they might be seeing them, they might be getting dressed up to see them, might be looking cute, and in the end, you know, this person gets their wish fulfillment. So, you guys, this looks like really good news. Scorpio, believe that you can do it, hon. You got this. Whatever your heart's, you know, whatever your heart's desire is set on right now, if this is you down here, don't let these issues hold you back. Remember, everybody has issues. There's nothing to be afraid of or ashamed of. Uh, you know, and if you are able to work on your issues, it really does set you free. And, uh, and I see that, that, you know, that is a priority and that's something that you're working on. And um, I just want you to know, you're going to do just fine. It is possible to work on issues and start something new at the same time. Um, people are worth it. People are worth it in a good way. And look at this. Under the, under the, uh, the star card, when I pulled it up, the tower. Now, this isn't a scary tower moment. This is, um, there we go. This is a positive moment. This is, if this happens, I believe a tower moment will happen for the better. Under that, the two of wands. So I guess I should explain the tower. The tower moment, you guys, is um, a moment that the universe has brought on. It's a destined moment to come and shake your life up. Um, you've been living in your own prison over and over again, and this is the prison, the tower, and so the the universe comes and s lightning strikes the tower, and the people have no choice but to jump out the windows of the tower, because it's all burning now. And so, uh, you know, um, this discussion, this, this proposal, or whatever this is, that I believe it's this person has for this person, is um is something that's life changing, and you know what? On here, look at this: the two of wands. The two of wands is the op seeing the opportunity. It's the doorway. The doorway is right here, and so you know you guys can walk through the doorway together with this tower moment. The world is your oyster. Uh, you know, great things.